We are J A. We are J A. We are J A. We are J. And we are J A. Distinguished guests and young entrepreneurs, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are at the moment. Half a day. Welcome to the opening of the 2020 JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year competition, the inaugural virtual KOI in the Asia Pacific region. My name is Winnie Ho, Regional Marketing Director of JA Asia Pacific, the proud organizer of this regional competition. In collaboration with our supporting partners, educators, volunteers, JA Worldwide, and JA members across the region. JA Asia Pacific connects students across the region through the JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year competition annually. The 2020 JAP KOI is the 10th edition of our flagship regional competition. The JA Company program had reached more than 20,000 students across the Asia Pacific region in 2019 and we are proud to have 17 student companies from 11 Asia Pacific locations, national champions that are joining us virtually in this regional competition this year. Without further ado, I'm excited to introduce our 2020 JA APCOY participating companies to all of you through the JA Companies video. Once again, a very warm welcome to all our 2020 JAAPCOY's outstanding JA student companies. While we cannot meet each other in the beautiful island of Guam this year due to the global pandemic situation, JA Asia Pacific is grateful for the support from the government of Guam to JA, our students, and KOI all along. It is my honor to introduce the beautiful Guam through a short video followed by a special remark from Governor Lu Leon Guerrero, the Governor of Guam.
half a day. I'm Governor Lou Leon Guerrero. Welcome to the 10th Annual Junior Achievement Asia Pacific Company of the Year competition. I heard that this will be the first virtual format for this competition. While this may not have been what you originally envisioned as you developed your plans and created your products, your hard work and dedication will shine through the screens all while keeping us safe from COVID-19. Good luck and make us proud. In addition to the support from the government of Guam, we are also extremely grateful for the resilience and dedicated support from our Koi event host, J.A. Guam, in making this first ever virtual competition possible. Following is a welcome remark to all our students from Mac Paikianko, J.A. Guam Executive Board Chairperson Emirati. Half a day. Welcome to Guam. My name is Meg Takenko. I'm the chairman of the board for Junior Achievement of Guam. I'm here down in the south of Guam at Fort Soledad and the Umatic Bay. So we're really excited to be hosting this even though it's virtual. It's something that we didn't think was ever going to happen, but we're excited to have you all together this year. I'm glad we're still doing the competition this year and we wish all the teams good luck. Thank you for all the sponsors. Thank you for Asia Pacific. Happy 10 year anniversary. It's our 45th year anniversary here on Guam. So enjoy your week and have a great time. We'll see you at the end of the competition to see who comes out and are the winners. Adios. Thanks, Mac, for your continuous support to JA Guam and our youth in Guam. And congratulations to the 45th anniversary of JA Guam. JA Asia Pacific is a proud organizer of the 2020 JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year competition. It is my pleasure to share the opening remark to all our student companies from Marcia Sabe, President and CEO of JA Asia Pacific. To all of our 2020 JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year participants, congratulations on making it this far and representing your home countries. We are delighted to welcome you to the 10th annual edition of this special event. The Company of the Year competition is an annual celebration of your achievements. We live in the largest region in the world, home to 60% of the world's youth, and you represent our future leaders. Although we can't meet face to face this year, JA Asia Pacific has been working hard with our event host, JA Guam, to make this inaugural virtual competition a memorable and fun learning experience for everyone. I have confidence that the circumstances surrounding this year will drive us all, but especially you as young entrepreneurs, to innovate and overcome obstacles as you go forward in this competition and in your lives beyond. I would also like to take a moment to thank all of the people who have supported your journey so far, your teachers, mentors, friends, parents, anyone who helped or inspired you to join the special event. From all of us involved in organizing this year's Company of the Year competition, I wish you all the very best. May this be the start of an amazing entrepreneurial journey for all of you, a journey that will not only help you grow as young leaders, but will elevate your communities and beyond. Together, you can move the world. Thanks, Masia, for your inspiring remark. As we all know, JA Asia Pacific is a member of JA Worldwide, one of the world's most impactful youth-serving NGOs dedicated to preparing young people for employment and entrepreneurship. Supported by nearly half a million volunteers and reaching more than 12 million students each year, JA is one of the few organizations with the scale, experience, and passion to build a brighter future for the next generation of global innovators, entrepreneurs, makers, and managers. It is my honor to share the welcome remark from the leader of the global JA network, Ashish Advani, President and CEO of JA Worldwide. On behalf of Junior Achievement Worldwide, it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome you to the JA community and to congratulate the organizers of the JA Asia Pacific Company of the, Year of the Year Competition 2020. Thank you in particular to the Asia Pacific Regional Operating Center under the great leadership of Mazi Arsabet 
and the board chair PG Raghuraman. Thank you for being resilient and for continuing to, uh, to create this wonderful virtual event despite the world going through an education crisis, a public health crisis, and an economic crisis. We need entrepreneurial spirit now more than ever before. You know, this program, the company program, is one in particular which, which enables young people to get a real experience of building a business while they're in school. It's a program that I went through and I can speak for how it impacted me personally and impacted now over 2.5 million young people over the last five years. It's astounding how many young people have gone through this program. It made me think of myself as an entrepreneur and it made me realize that one day I could actually create jobs, jobs for myself and jobs for others. And I hope it does that for all the young competitors going through the competition today. A small change in mindset where if you start thinking of yourself as a job creator makes such a huge difference for the world, particularly a world where the economic crisis that we, that we currently have is creating massive unemployment. We need young job creators. I also want to thank all the sponsors and thank the volunteers, the parents, the mentors who've supported this competition and continue to allow young people to be entrepreneurial, even though it might be difficult to do it all through, through a virtual means. I want to also tell you a little bit about the Gather community, where all the young people who've gone through this competition are now part of the JA Alumni Network, well over 100 million living alums. And we've created an, an online community called Gather. Where you'll be hearing more about that from my colleague, Sarah Rapp. And I also want to tell you about the Ralph de la Vega Entrepreneurship Award. Ralph and Maria de la Vega have been such generous supporters of JA. And we've launched an Entrepreneurship Award, which takes the best of the best, the best competitors from the JA Asia Pacific region, and, and introduces them to the best competitors from, from Europe, the Americas region, the US, from Africa, and Middle East and North Africa. This, this global award um, is intended to actually bring people who are entrepreneurial leaders together. And we hope, despite the crisis, we'll be able to make that happen. I wish you all the best for this competition. Thank you so much for your hard work. Good luck. Thanks, Ashish, for the encouraging words. This year at JAP Koi, all participating student companies will have the opportunity to win the following awards. The third, second, and first place of the JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year Award, the Young Entrepreneur's Choice Award, and the FedEx Global Possibility Award. JA Asia Pacific is grateful for the support from our partners and judges. The event would not have been possible without them. In the following 48 hours, our student companies will have an opportunity to hear and interact with senior business leaders from FedEx Express and learn about the global possibilities for nowadays entrepreneurs. They will also appear before a panel of independent judges from a wide spectrum of industries to compete by presenting their businesses and products online. It is our honor to introduce our supporting partners and judges to the 2020 JAAP COI.
thanks to our supporting partners and judges. You all have a very challenging job ahead, and we look forward to celebrating the achievements of our winners at the award ceremony on August 26, Wednesday this week. Following, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome all our student companies to the JA Global Alumni Community, where you can connect to opportunities exclusively for JA alumni, and also to like-minded young entrepreneurs just like yourself through Gather, the JA Global Alumni Platform. Let's hear more about the JA Global Alumni Platform from Howard Leong, a proud JA alumnus from Malaysia, and also Sarah Rapp, Senior Manager, Alumni and Marketing Campaigns of JA Worldwide. Hi, I'm Howard Leong from Malaysia, also the Gather Reporter for JA Asia Pacific Region. Firstly, congratulations on your achievements. I have one message for you today, to continuously be involved in JA Matters. You can be an advocate for education by volunteering your time and effort to bring hands-on and life-changing experience to your local community. I can't emphasize enough how big of an impact you can make. Remember that your voice matter, your JA volunteering matter, and your art of giving matter. Join Gather, the global alumni platform, and make a difference. Over to you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Howard. Do you know what you and I have in common? Well, I graduated from my JA program 10 years ago in Germany, and this week, it's your big graduation moment. I'm so excited to also invite you to our global alumni community, and here are three reasons why you should apply. Number one, on Gather, you will find like-minded people not only in your country, not only in the Asia-Pacific region, but all across the world. Number two, we have incredible virtual and hopefully also in-person events where you can meet up with the people, where you can share your knowledge and exchange ideas. Number three, did you know that we have exclusive benefits on Gather? For instance, are you looking for a mentor for your business or for your personal life? Do you want to work on your CV? Are you interested in reading? All of these incredible benefits you can find on Gather and we put in the link below. Thank you again, and welcome to the Global Alumni Network. Thanks, Howard and Sarah. And a big welcome to all student companies joining our JA alumni family. Finally, thanks everyone for joining us at the welcome and opening of the 2020 JA Asia Pacific Company of the Year competition. Before we close the event, let's cheer and encourage our 17 student companies with a special cultural performance brought to us by our event host, J.A. Guang. Introducing the Chamarita Girl, performed by Inet Nguyen Gepagu. Enjoy the show. Good luck, everyone. And look forward to seeing you all at the 2020 J.A.P. Koi Award Ceremony coming Wednesday. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>